we can only use the deck for half the day. Why is that? Uh, because of the sun. Today's overcast, but usually the sun is beating down hard on the deck by this time. And it just heats up and it's unbearable? It heats up and there is no shade. Well, it looks like you've got a bit of an attempt at a solution here. Is this your handiwork? It is. It was a feeble attempt that didn't work. And so the idea was that this would prevent the sun from blasting through that kitchen window? Right, right. because the kitchen gets hot too. I'm looking at a pretty sizable overhang though. Why isn't this working for you? Well, the overhang is broad and dramatic, but it's ineffective as the sun falls during the day. And on this end of the deck, what we have is not an exterior problem, but an interior problem. Meaning? Meaning that as the day progresses, the sun blasts directly into these large windows and raises the temperature 10 to 15 huh. degrees. So it sounds to me like you've got two problems. You've got a lot of solar gain in the living room, and now that the sun's peeking out, it's obvious that there's not enough shade out here on the deck. Exactly. So to come up with a solution, I think we're going to have to call in an expert. So Warren, how's it look? Well, Kevin, it looks pretty good, nice. um, but we've got one big situation we're going to have to consider here. Which is? And that is we have 40 to 50 mile an hour winds coming up this oh. arroyo sometimes, and therefore we cannot use a retractable style awning out here, or it will be over the building. Just at some blow it right off. Blow right off, that's right. right. You so, got a solution for us? Well, I do. What we'll do is put a shade sail, attach a shade sail here, all the way down this fascia yeah. to here, and then the shade sail will project out and attach the posts that are right out oh. here on the edge of the deck. And will tension the fabric out and therefore the wind will not take it away. So this is fixed. This is not going to retract in and out. That is correct. All right. So that's going to solve the shade problem that we've got on this side. That's correct. Um, and what are you thinking about the problem we have with heat gain here in the living room? Well, what we'd like to do here is put a roller tube across, all the way across the top of the windows. Mm -hmm. has a mesh type of fabric wrapped around it. There's a gearbox right here. You have a crank that operates the gearbox. You crank the crank. Oh, yeah. Roller tube rolls the fabric off and it's down in front of the window and that blocks 90% of the sun that would normally penetrate wow. the glass. Okay, but I know a homeowner loves his view, so we're not going to block the views too, are we? Actually, it will not block the homeowner's oh. views. You have it with a 10% that's still open, this, uh, open in the weave will allow you to see right through it. I love it. You got a plan. All right, let's get to work. Well, Kevin, this is the first of three steel posts that we're going to install on the deck here. Uh, the shade shell is actually going to attach to this fitting right up here. Yep. And we really need to have a strong post because the shade shell is going to be tugging on this thing. We do not want this to bend over a period of time. So you've made it out of steel? Two inch by three inch, quarter inch wall steel. Nice, okay. And then how's it affixed to our deck? This flange will go underneath and attach to the joist uh, yep. below the deck and we'll through bolt through that joist and then the guys will lag bolt back through this way. Wow. That'll give some real strength. And did you guys custom make this for us? We had to custom make these for this specific deck. Guess you don't mess around when you fasten these, right? With 50 mile hour winds. Four carriage bolts hold the flange tight to the joist. So Kevin, now that we have these three posts installed, the next thing we're going to do is install these head rod clamps spaced every three feet along the fascia. All right, so what are we working with here? Well, what we're working with, Kevin, is a 90% shade factor vinyl coated nylon. Yep. The idea is on a shade sail, it has to be a mesh type of a fabric because it's relatively flat in the structure. So if water tries to accumulate, we want it to go through the fabric and not accumulate on top of it. Just like the post, the shade sail is custom made to fit this space exactly. All right, and the shade's got a ring on the end, and we're going to use a shackle to connect it to this eye bolt. Well, you got to put some tension on that, don't you? All right, move to the center one. Get that shackle undone. Oh, that's nice. Two man job. Yep. Good, I'll help you with this outside one. And 
That's in. All we need to do now is tighten up the eye bolts to put the proper tension on the shade sail and we're done. We tighten down the eye bolts until all the wrinkles come out of the fabric. And then you've got this second nut here just to lock it in place. That's right. So this is the 15 foot roller tube that we're going to mount above the window and this will support the fabric. Okay. And then what do you want to do? Just screw it into place? I want to screw it right into place right there and you'll see where the marks are. Okay. Okay. The fabric attaches to the roller without any clamps. We'll insert it into this channel and slide it down the entire length. Kevin, the way this uh, curtain operates is you put this crank into the gearbox, you crank the crank, and the curtain rolls up and down. Hmm. And so we've got this bottom bar right here riding on these two side tracks, and that, what, prevents this curtain from flopping in the wind? That's correct. It looks like it's pretty easy to operate. I can't even see inside those windows. I can't see anything, really. So you're telling me even though I cannot see inside the house, from in there, you still have all of these million dollar views? Absolutely. I mean, that is pretty hard to believe. Oh, wow, look at this. Hey, what do you think? This is wonderful. It really fits with the house. I think we're gonna be much more comfortable inside and out. Well, now you do have to take it down in the winter time. And outside of that, you can keep it up year round and you're gonna be much more comfortable. Oh, right. Well, Warren, you and your guys did a great job, so thank you. Mm -hmm.